वेलकम टू ट्रांजियन स्टेबिलिटी एनालिसिस यूजिंग पी एस एस सी डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन वीडियो इन दिस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टेबिलिटी एनालिसिस नो फॉर परफॉर्मिंग दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टेबिलिटी एनालिसिस वी हैव वंस अगेन यूज दिस आई ट्रिपल ई नाइन बस सिस्टम एंड इट इज अ स्लाइटली मॉडिफाइड फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल सिस्टम दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ वन जनरेटर एट बस थ्री वी हैव यूज थ्री जनरेटर द रीजन फॉर यूजिंग दिस थ्री जनरेटर इज टू परफॉर्म small step of uh, this frequency stability because here the total unit size in the actual system was around 85 megawatt so we have divided this 85 megawatt system into a uh, generator of 3 uh, 328 megawatt each so that we have a smaller step so that's it you can use whatever you want so just to give you a idea of how this frequency stability works we are using this system now to perform the simulation we first let, uh, let us check what is the total load demand in this system and what is the total generation in this system so for this purpose we can have several methods you can do it with the help of uh, this uh, uh, output reports or there's one other way so let us see the un one other way because this will be helpful for you to i mean make your uh, sld more graphical so for this purpose we'll go to this submission i click this submission tool and click here so first of all let us add generation so i select generation here and space so now for generation the command is gn comma plus comma generation bus so bus is number 1 similarly copy this control enter to go to the next line paste bus 2 control enter to go to next line paste and bus number 3 because we have generation at bus number 1 bus number 2 and bus number 3 let us change the font as well so let us go to bold and 14 so that we can see it in a bigger size okay and when i press okay so there you go so the total generation in my this i triple e 9 bus system is 320 megawatt against this generation what is the total load demand to sum up the load demand as well simply copy and paste this submission function now instead of this so just let me go here now to add this function what are we going to do we are going to change the attributes of this so double click on this now instead of generation we can write load demand here and now the syntax or the command for this is bl bl for bus load but the bus load is available at bus number 5 then bus load is available at bus number 6 and bus load is available at bus number 8 so we've select the three buses and press okay so there you go so for a total load demand of 315 megawatt we have to generate 319.6 megawatt it means around 4 megawatt are the system losses so what will happen if we trip a generator of 28 megawatt we are going to get the deficiency of 28 megawatt in the system so in order to remove this deficiency what will happen first thing that is going to happen is load generation imbalance is going to happen my generation will only be 292 megawatt against a load demand of 315 megawatt this will cause the frequency to drop now this change in frequency will be affected by the total inertia in the system number 1 secondly how my frequency is going to recover from this deficiency this will depend upon how much response i get from each of the remaining generator so to see those two things we need to add two kind of channels number 1 we need, we will be requiring the frequency we will be monitoring the frequency and the second thing we will be monitoring is the mechanical power which is being input by each of these generator so to to do this first we have to uh, convert this case so that this can be used for transient stability analysis so first of all let me just save my file because i have added some data into it no need to uh, change uh, since there was no change in the base case or the save file so therefore no need to save this file now to convert just for you recalling 
we have to go to power flow we will go to convert we will use convert for generator convert for load all buses convert then power flow then solution then order okay then power flow then solution then tysl then use voltage vector as start point factorize okay so my this is done now i will not be saving this converted file because i already have a converted file this was just to remind you how this conversion is done so the next step will be to call my dynamics file so open i already have a snapshot file so i can simply from there i can open my snapshot file and i am going to select my original snapshot file so when i open this my original snapshot file if i go to data and go to channels you see this were the channels which we used for angular stability studies but now for the frequency stability studies we require some additional channel what were these channels number 1 we require the mechanical output of each generator and the second thing we require is the frequency of the system so for monitoring the frequency since a frequency is a global phenomena in any transmission system or in any power system so we can even selecting one bus will be okay just to show you that frequency remains same throughout the system we will select two buses so how do we select this buses or how do we select monitor these channels for this purpose let us go to first this diagram and let us monitor the frequency as bus number 6 and bus number 8 because these are two different all together different buses so and a little bit far away as well so let us select this now you can add the channel into your system through two methods the first method is you go to dynamics you select select selection output simulation output and you select bus quantity either you can go from here or an other way is you go to bus channel selection directly from the toolbar so i am going from the toolbar just like this is going to open and this is going to ask you that do i want to enable yes so what channel here you can have different bus quantities selected so you have frequency here voltage voltage and angle for now i am interested in frequency so i select frequency so the first thing we are going to do is give the bus number for the frequency so for 6 so let us press go when i press go see here a channel new channel has been added for the frequency at bus 6 same way let us select for bus 8 and we press go we have channel added for frequency at bus 8 so now we can close this the first work is done now what is the second thing required the mechanical power from each generator so now one way is to get the channel of each and every uh, bus individual uh, every generator individually or use the wizard to select the total so let us go with the wizard so how do we select the wizard we can go from dynamics or we can simply from the toolbar channel setup wizard i when i click on this channel setup wizard the same channel setup wizard has open no need for voltage no need for power flow no need for angle p electrical q electrical terminal field speed so i'm only interested in p mechanical so i'm going to select p mechanical for all buses so it is going to be selected for all the generators in the system and when i press finish so my five additional channels have been added one two 3 4 and 5 so because i have five generator in the system so five p mechanical channels one for each generator has been added now to review this when i press control tab and go to my dynamics you see here i added two channels for frequency which are now available here then i added five channels for the p mechanical which are also available here now i will save this case because i this is something different because this is my snapshot file which is purely for frequency stability analysis so i am using these channels are only related to frequency stability so i can save it as a separate file so i will browse to my location give it the name i triple e9 bus updated and just to differentiate from the original i am using the word frequency with it so that i can remind myself that okay fine this is for the frequency and when i press open okay you will see now the my file has been saved the new file has been saved at time t is equal to 0 same 
Now the next thing we have to do is perform the simulation. So for performing the simulation, what do we have to do? We have to go to dynamic simulation. Our window will open. From here, we will select the channel. You can give any name for this. We, we will select this name. Generation trip to tell me this is a generation trip and for what purpose for frequency stability analysis and what I am tripping bus 3 is generator 1 without any fault. So this is my description. You can give whatever description you want. You can use test my simulation frequency simulation whatever that is totally upon you and then I press open. The next step will be to initialize the case for initializing. I will select one here and initialize my case. So my case has initialized, initial condition check is okay. Everything seems to be okay. I can perform simulation. So now let us run the case for one second without any disturbance. So I already one selected, so run. So system has run for one second. Next step is to trip the generator. Now tripping can be again done with the help of two methods. First, you go to disturbance and you select disconnect channel. Other directly from toolbar, you will see machine disconnect so from the toolbar i select disconnect machine now it is asking me the id of the machine bus number and id of if you know you can directly input it here if you do not know go to select bus here i have selected bus number three machine id one and i press ok so machine one at bus three has been set out of service now, because this is frequency stability analysis, frequency stability takes some time as compared to uh, rotor angle stability. So for this purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run my simulation post disturbance simulation for up to 20 seconds so that all my governors and everything respond to it. So I press 20 and when I press run, my simulation is run. 